Keeler Gardens on the northwest side of Chicago. We come to you today to connect you with nature. And if you are watching this on a replay, note that you can get notifications for when we go live so you can join us lickety split. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can get the thousand likes and be Keeler Gardens on YouTube. Uh, that's if you want to watch us on YouTube for the high resolution version of all these videos. Or on Facebook. Make you sure can that like you, us, yeah. follow us, turn on your notifications for Keeler Gardens. We always start out that way to give those who have their notifications, we're waiting for that little ding. All right? Oh, Keeler Gardens just went live. There we go. I'm here. So, we are on the northwest side of Chicago, connecting you with nature. Our mission here at Keeler Gardens is to help you benefit from that connection with nature. What can we do to bring more of nature into your life? It doesn't have to be gardening. It can be art. It can be a plant. It can be a house plant. Hi, Michelle. Be... Hey, Michelle. I think you'll like today's. It can be... <laughs> in the garden it can be community friends neighbors webinars you let us know how you want to connect with nature so that we can help uh, improve the quality of life in our urban communities so with that said uh, we are in the northwest side of chicago and we are a nonprofit. and uh, because we are a nonprofit, we uh, do have to um, function via funding so we are creating uh, a, a new version of our video here another video um, program of sorts called Wish Wednesday. Now, uh, we understand that um, when we have something very specific to offer, for example, the market that we did over the weekend, a bouquet of flowers, you make a donation. That's very clear. But there's a lot of things um, that aren't so tangible that we really need help with here at Keeler Gardens. And so what we're going to do this month is we're going to talk to you about specific programs that need overhead funding. So for example, we need about $3,500 to cover insurance for both the property and our vehicles and our uh, equipment so that we can have After School Matters participate with internship programs with youth. So we can have volunteers on the premises safely so that we have a safe insured vehicle to collect donations and deliver donations. And although this isn't something specific that we can um, uh, equate a dollar amount to every program know that this dollar amount is in support of all of our programs so this month for our wish Wednesday we're going to talk a little bit about the programs that that insurance supports if you know someone who wants to sponsor be, be a pot, sponsor in part of our programs or sponsor a specific program right now this is the dollar amount that we are trying to raise for our insurance which was due like two days ago <laughs> and then the car insurance is due in August so that gives you a real specific deadline and specific information so you know where your dollars are going okay so uh, with that the program we're going to talk to you about today as I mentioned not all of our programs are gardening we have a program called cats at work um, it's unique to Keeler Gardens because cats at work uh, is a program that the treehouse um, no-kill animal shelter in uh, Evanston has started when they deem cats are unadoptable. They're just too wild or they won't do well in a household or they won't do well with families or kids or other cats. They are allowed to remain feral, wild in a neighborhood. They're trained to know where their food and water will be. They're given a home, a house to sleep in on cold nights. And you can watch a video that we did several weeks ago specifically about the cats at work. And Hunter actually was a star in that. She was hanging out with us. So uh, you'll in you'll, addition, if you go back even further in the videos, oh yeah, you'll like see, two years, you'll see when we got them as kittens. Yes. So um, you'll hear in the previous video how we had two, and then we had three, and then we went back down to two. Um, the third member of that litter came and went and came and went. So uh, for our wish Wednesday, a wish for us has actually been answered. Uh, his name is Mono. What happened was we have the two sisters first, Hunter and Scout, who many of you know. Hunter and Scout came to us, we named them, and just as they were getting acclimated, Treehouse asked us to take on their brother. So we named their brother Hermano, which is a brother in Spanish, and so we call him Mano. So, last night, lo and behold, after being gone for, gosh, a year, over, over a, a year. year, Mano was spotted on the porch having dinner. It's not a great picture, but I'll put it in the comments. We were, we were just it, it, speechless. Uh, he had been with us for a winter. He left for the summer. He came back for winter. He left for uh, a whole year 
Uh, we didn't see him at all last summer or last winter, but now he is back yet again. And he looks very healthy and very well. So he's got a better gig somewhere else. Someone's taking care of him and we really appreciate that. And we hope that everyone will share this video so we can uh, post the not great picture of him. And maybe someone will recognize him and let us know where he's been for the past year. Uh, we would love to know about his travels. He's the subject of our children's book that we're trying to, to get published. So that gives you an idea of one of the programs that we have here. These cats, although they're supposed to be feral, they're not. They are friendly. They will sit on your lap. It is an opportunity for uh, anyone in the community who wants to connect with nature for a little respite to come and sit on our porch or walk down our street and pet these cats. They love attention and they're happy to see you. Often you'll find them on these, these uh, stoops here just uh, sort of watching over their Looking land. Looking like gargoyles. Yeah. So it's these kinds of programs, again, that are not tangible. It's not a set time. It's not a set cost. Um, but there are costs incurred. For example, when we take these cats to the vet, we do need the vehicle. We do need to have insurance for when people come onto the property. Please consider passing the word around. If you know of a business, local or not, that is motivated to support nature in urban communities, nature connections in urban communities. Maybe they would be willing to sponsor. Maybe uh, we would find a, a group that's willing to do a, a match uh, a situation where we could get a certain amount of funding and then they would match. Please just keep us in mind and spread the word. So that is uh, the nature of our Wish Wednesday and we'll talk about different programs that we support throughout the coming weeks. But we're full of wishes today. So we got one wish, uh, Mono is back. Uh, and our second wish is for all of you to have a lovely weekend. It's only Wednesday, uh, but we are wishing our cameraman and our colleague here, Ed, Ed Kaplan, uh, you've seen him on camera, but he won't turn the camera around right I'll now. I'll turn the camera around right now. Oh, I, I missed me. On this one day we can humor him <laughs> because we're wishing him a happy birthday. Tomorrow is Ed's birthday, so uh, we, Ed and I, as Ed and I are married, <laughs> I don't know if you all know that or not, <laughs> uh, we are taking the weekend for Ed's birthday. So we will not see you tomorrow. We won't see you for our Feature Friday or our um, What's, in, What's in, Bloom. in Bloom tour, but we will do our What's in Bloom tour on Monday so that we can catch up because we have some wonderful things here in Bloom. So with that said, we wish you a lovely weekend. If anybody has any horticultural questions, you can email Gina at keelergardens.org. Gina at keelergardens.org. <laughs> is, that, is that right? Yeah. Gina at keelergardens.org. And um, you can also email me if you do have any suggestions on sponsorships or any interested parties. You can direct those uh, emails to me. Hi, Donna. Hey, Donna. Nice to see you. And Hi, Robin. And hi, hi Rob. Dr. Kafaro. Hi, Dr. Kafaro. Okay, so everyone came in late or they're also saying hi now? So do I have to repeat everything? Nope. Uh, if we we'll just please, finish up. Please, if... please, please re-watch via the replay. Uh, we're doing Wish Wednesday today. We're wishing Ed a happy birthday. A wish has come true for us in uh, one of our cats at work has returned. And we're talking about programs uh, and the wishes we have for funding for specific programs. So please do watch the replay. If hey, Maggie. <laughs> so you just Obviously, we should have started five minutes later, later. today. <laughs> All right, so for those of you that are local in the neighborhood, try to walk by and say hi to the cats at work. That was our topic today. Please say hi to the peonies. Enjoy the peonies. And in fact, if anybody wants peonies, uh, comment or send me an email, Gina at KeelerGardens.com, and I'm happy to cut you a bunch for a donation. <laughs> Gina at KeelerGardens.org. <laughs> Gina at KeelerGardens.org. So with that said... Thank you for the birthday uh, wishes. Uh, yes, everyone, happy birthday, Ed. We'll be off this weekend. We'll do our What's in Bloom tour on Monday. Any questions? No. So, uh, and any, uh, pr uh, if you, uh, instead of gifts, if you could please donate to... Oh, yes. In lieu of gifts, yes, donate to donate Keeler Gardens. Donate to Keeler Gardens. <laughs> would really birthday. appreciate that. Uh, we have the fundraiser at the top of the page. And then uh, the other, uh, oh, if you have any educational or program questions, please email me at ed at keelergardens.org. Uh, website still being rebuilt. Uh, Keelergardens.com. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, thank you for sticking around. It's hashtag stick around. And I have a request. Uh-oh, what's your request? Uh, when you wish upon a star. That was what I thought would yeah, be I the request be because it is Wish Wednesday. And it's hashtag stick around. So here we go. When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. Anything your heart desires 
can come to you if your heart is in your dreams no request is too extreme when you wish upon a star your dreams come true thanks everyone see you next week